Good Sunday morning, friends and neighbors, and welcome to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates. Friends, this is where the Valley's favorite real estate agent comes to tell you everything you need to know about buying or selling your home. Now, here are your hosts this morning, Kelly Warren and Jim Warren. Good morning and welcome to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates. I'm Kelly Warren and I'm in the studio back again this week by popular demand. Uh, Handsome Jim is home from vacay. Thank goodness. I bet you had so many calls saying, where is Handsome Jim? No, you know what? I had a whole bunch of calls saying how darling was that little boy. Like people really enjoyed it. So, Willie? uh, Yeah. Yeah, So I have a whole entourage of little children that I can parade (laughs) through here. Because people did like it, so I, I was impressed. So since we're like we don't pay him, so it's not child labor laws, right? Right. Oh, right. cool. He gets like That's free fair. Kelly Warren and Associates real estate swag. <laughs> he likes that. That's so funny. If you're tuning in to listen to Real Estate in the Valley, um, you're in the right place. You can find us online at kellysoldit.com, and you can always give us a call or a text at three three zero seven one seven two six eight nine. So this morning, Jim and I are going to talk about closings and escrow. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my favorite clients we just had a closing with this week. Um, They were so patient and so wonderful and so amazing. Um, He wanted to give a little testimonial. So I love that idea, of course. And since he just went through the closing process, I think I'm going to ask him a couple questions on that. Good. So on the line with us is Frankie Forderly. Frankie, are you there? I am here. Hi. We're actually loading up some stuff, moving out, moving out of here. <laughs> All right. Do you have a couple minutes to talk? Absolutely. Okay. We are on the air. So um, this fits in well, Frankie, because you had offered to do this, which I was so thrilled. You know, people don't normally honored. call me. And, oh, yeah. Honored. People don't normally call me and say, can they do this? Um, and our topic for our talk show this morning is closings and escrow. So you just lived through that. Okay. So Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so, absolutely. It, it was definitely the biggest breeze I've ever imagined in my life, and I'm not exaggerating. Well, that's uh, good to hear. You know, yeah. And I also want to mention, you know, from the very beginning, I did hear it on another radio station, and I heard how you guarantee you'll sell the house. And I was thinking when I was driving on my way to work one day, I heard it, and I was like, yeah, right. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give him a call <laughs> just for the heck of it. And, of course, I talked to a couple of the other DJs at the radio station, and, uh, of course, they, a lot of these guys are familiar with my songs that are out, and of course my music store in my car lot. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I, I went ahead and gave him a call, and, uh, and he said, no, he says, I guarantee you'll be blown out of the water. And I'm telling you what, I mean, I want everybody to know, from the minute I hired you and, and, and got you rolling, I mean, you had three people wanting to buy my house and another person that wanted to get on it, too. And, of course, we went with the best offer. And I'm telling you, I want everybody to know, you are absolutely the best, period. Um, there's, there's nobody that can even come close to what you do, as professional as you are. Uh, God bless you. That's all i got to say. Awesome. And, and anybody who's listening right now, if they don't get a hold of Kelly to help them sell their house, something is definitely wrong. <laughs> if you've had your house for a long time and you're not having no luck, or if you just want to sell it and you need somebody to help you, I'm telling you, these are the best folks that you can ever imagine any of our questions that we ever had doesn't matter if it was morning noon or night kelly was there to answer the questions for us and get us taken care of and uh it it was everybody kept saying oh it's a lot of work when you move i'm telling you what you made it so smooth for us it was scary Ah, you're bringing tears of joy to my eye frankie (laughs) so you had heard oh my god you had heard Wes on Mix 98.9 on the other iHeart radio channel because we're on News Talk 570 right, right now with with iHeart. So um, you right. heard Wes talking about us and you took a leap of faith and called in because you had had your house up for sale over the past couple of years a few times, right? <laughs> Eight different realtors. Wow. Eight different realtors. And what was unbelievable is when we had, uh, when you listed the house, the very first day we had three offers and I got over asking price, right? And I am not exaggerating, right? It, 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 was, it was just unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. 
<laughs> multiple offers over asking price. So this is great for our listeners because sometimes I think they hear those commercials and they think, oh, that's too good to be true. <laughs> Maybe like you thought, no. but I, I love that you no. just trusted your gut and went with it and let us put our marketing yeah. to work and get your home sold. So it was over, over the top and I'm not exaggerating. I want to give one hiccup, not one. Everything did run very smooth. And you know what? I appreciate you as a client, too, because, um, you know, on the seller end, things go so much easier when there's good communication both ways. And you always kept in touch with me if anything was coming up or changing as you were having, you know, septic tests done and stuff like that. So I really appreciate all your hard work into the transaction, too. Um, I want to give you a little uh, plug. So tell us what your businesses are over there in Cortland and Champion. Champion. Okay, sure. I have Ford Lee's Music. Uh, we carry musical instruments, and we also have lessons, uh, lots of studios, lots of lessons going on. We've been here, my wife and I have been here for 32 years. Uh, also have the car lot, Nanny's Motors, who was, uh, Grandma was Nanny. She died in my I arms. I wondered who that course. came from. I, I wondered where that came from. Yeah, I wrote a song about her uh, dying in my arms, and it hit number one. Uh, and of course, uh, other radio stations, because it's a religious song, mm-hmm. they play it a lot. And, um, and I have the re- religious band called the Frankie Fordley Band also, which yep. we're working on a new album called Seriously Spiritually. And, uh, so that'll be coming out, uh, this year also. Got a lot of things going on. And, um, uh, I, I was so inspired by everything that you did. Um, I, I actually, I've always wanted to get into, being a realtor. I don't this know is my favorite ending to the story. Pardon me? This is my favorite ending to the story. Not only did we well, have a good, happy transaction, multiple offers over asking price on your sale, and you're buying a right. house and you're you're making a move that's better for you and your family, but then Frankie right. calls me and says, I think maybe I want to sell real estate. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I've always, yes. I've always, that's a true story, I've always wanted to get into real estate and, um, of course, I did a lot of studying with Zig Ziglar and, and mm-hmm. over the years and um, sold cars at other car lots. And, but I've always had the knack uh, to do the houses. And um, so this is going to be my new newest endeavor. I can't wait to get on it. I can't uh, wait either. I'm really excited. Um, so I've got a lot of things going on. But I'll tell you, you had so much to do with, just like I texted you last night, you have so much to do with my new future life. Good. And, I, I and, can hear you your know, passion and, in it. I can't and, wait and, for... When you, right. When you get to a certain age, you've done, and I'm not bragging, but I've done so many things. I've done concerts. I've opened up at Rick Springfield, David Lee Roth, Peter Frampton. I've done huge, huge shows in the past. And you know what? Now I want to go on to my new life. Mm-hmm. And I really want to get into the real estate. Rock star and, realtor. Uh, Here you come. But, uh, you showed me how easy it can be and how to work with people. And that's just absolutely awesome. Oh, I've wonderful. called you sweetheart millions of times, and I'll tell you what, you are absolutely the best. You are the best. Thank you. Mind. So I've got one more well, question for you. you while I have you, because our topic today is sure. about the closing and the escrow process. So okay. um, I'm sorry. you just this week went and did your closings and your title work and your papers and right. everything. So what was your take from a client perspective on that? Any questions on like that breakdown or that closing period or any of those kind of things, that's what we're going to be jumping into here next. Sure. No, what was nice is that I uh, I got a phone call from the girl that was doing the title, and she kept being uh, very adamant, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And um, everything went just as they said it was going to. Uh, even with the other people coming in uh, that are buying the home, they just they love the home and they're so excited and uh they they keep telling me they're going to have horses and they're going to have cows and they're going to have a pig named hamlet (laughs) 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 so awesome because because they have a future yeah that's what my wife and i wanted because when we bought the house years ago we had kids and now they're all grown up and yeah the uh, house needed some new life it needed turned over to a new family and i love that about real estate Right, yeah, and to see, I mean, I'm in my yard right now, and I'm looking at my lake and my ponds and my swimming pool, and you know what? It, it was wonderful when we were younger, um, in, hitting 60 here now, and there's things that I want to do with my wife, and uh, we want to just uh, take it easy and, and enjoy life, and at the new house, it has all that stuff that we wanted, Yep. which you guys helped us get also, which was amazing. But um, as far as the closing, everything went just absolutely perfect. And I'm okay. not exaggerating. 
All um, right. I know there was one tiny little, not not even a hiccup on it, but you and I had um, made some arrangements ahead of time to change up a couple of fees, which is good. Right. And the title company, somehow there was a little miscommunication and they didn't have that note on file. And you were texting me and you caught me in the middle of a root canal, so I wasn't answering. <laughs> but I believe Patty from that my office true. was able that to call true. you right back and get it fixed. And so even but, though I, I was tied up for a minute, um, our staff right. was able to take care of it and move yeah. forward without well, any we, further hiccups. No, And I, I should mention, too, because of my history of sales over the years, um, when the folks got here, um, they had a lot of questions, and I kept answering their questions and actually ended up helping the guy sell the house. Yeah. And it was just so hilarious. And when I got done, I really, really enjoyed it and felt good because, you know, just like with anything that you're selling, you want to always tell the person you got to be 100% honest yes, with them. Yes, you do. And when you get that 100% honest with you, when they walk away, you could take in a breath of fresh air and say, you know what, it feels so good to be honest and straight. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what you did with me which was terrific. I mean, I'll never forget the first question I asked you after we sat down. I went over everything, and, and I asked you, what do you think this house should sell at? And you gave me the price. And I said, what would you buy it for? And you gave me the price. You were very honest. Mm-hmm. And, and then, of course, what ended up happening, all these offers that we had, it was just absolutely super. But my biggest point is that you were honest, you were sincere, and when I was doing the same thing with these people, it felt terrific. It felt so amazing. And I know how bad they wanted. I mean, they, it, there was three people, like I said at the end, who was fighting over the house. And the last thing that the woman did is sent me a letter, a personal letter, yep. telling me, thank you for taking the time out, for working with her, for talking with her, for showing her the house. Um, I mean, I actually did a walkthrough where the other guy's just standing there, and he's looking at me laughing, cracking up. And I said, look, I, 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 I know the house. Where could you find a better seller, you know? Right. And well, and I think your passion and, and, and your love for your house. Job too himself. He really, really did a super yeah. job. Yeah. Because your house is unique, it's not a cookie cutter house. You've got the property and the ponds and everything that it, it needed right. some of your passion and your love to come across to the buyers so right. that they would love and appreciate it like that. And it worked. And I can't wait for you to start your career as a real estate uh, agent and carry on that passion. So we'll be talking um, further. I, I'm very, very, very excited about that. My wife and I were talking about it. That's all we've been talking about. All right. Um, because it's not only, like I said, not only did you help me with a chapter of my life that my wife and I have been at wanting to do for so long, and now I feel like, you know what, it's going to be a new start even to get into the real estate and, um, and have fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. When you can go to work and say, that you're really having fun and you really enjoy what you're doing. You haven't worked a day in your life. Yep. And I, and with everything that I've done with my music store and my car lot, and I also band directed for years, I did all the Catholic schools in the area. And I'll tell you what, I loved it. I used to get up so excited, couldn't wait to get to work. Sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night, to go to the bathroom, I couldn't get back to sleep because I was so excited about what I was doing. <laughs> That's how I am with real estate. <laughs> I'm going to do now, just to know that I got my beautiful bride. We've been married for 35 years, and uh, she's going to be right there with me and along the, along our new uh, indoor. It, it, yep. it, it's just going to be fantastic. But uh, no, you are, and I'm not just saying this from the bottom of my heart. You are absolutely incredible. Well, Period. thank you so so like much. Said, Anybody who's listening out there, listen, if you're thinking about selling your house, granted, there's other people out there, but I'm telling you what, this is somebody that you can trust, you can depend on, you can rely on, and there is no, if you ever have any questions, boom, they're right there to answer your questions. I even had a couple times where I said, can you please come to my car lot or to my music store? And boom, within a half hour, she was right there. There you you go. yeah, definitely, 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 you, you, you got to get a hold of these people. They're the best. Period. All right. Well, uh, and our listeners can do that. I am to your husband. <laughs> oh, well, Handsome Jim's in the studio right now. He, he's... Oh, hi, Jim. Hi, hi Frankie. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Good. I am doing fantastic. Thank you again so much for helping me and my wife. No and problem. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys are, I've, I've heard nothing but the best. Howard just uh, absolutely speaks the world of you also. And uh, he's an amazing man. Yep. Yep. 
Well, thank you so much, Frankie. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate your um, testimonial and your kind words. And I look forward to working with you more in the future. So God bless you as well. Same as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Bye-bye. 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 So if you are listening to Frankie's testimonial and you're a seller and you are thinking that um, you've got to sell your home, of course, you want to take his advice and give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689, or you can visit us online at kellysoldit.com. So we're going to talk for a couple minutes before the break about closing an escrow. Um, so this is a big thing. I get questions from people all the time. What's the closing process like? Mm-hmm. So give us your take on it, Jim. So the closing process is a buyer or seller? Both. Well, buyer, it's... In a real estate transaction, what's the closing process like? Yeah, so once you agree on all the terms and stuff, the title company does all the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Um, And the reason title companies do that is they are typically staffed with attorneys who make sure that all the paperwork gets filed properly and all that fun Mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think that the, um, so after the title company does the title search and they have the attorney drop the deed and they get everything going, then um, they prepare for us. So the actual like closing period. So sellers come in and sign, buyers come in and sign. That's what I want to narrow down on today. Yeah. Um, so in Ohio, we're not doing a round table closing most of the time. So sellers generally come in and sign first. And then within a few days, buyers will come in and sign. And the day that the buyers sign is the day of the actual closing. It usually goes to record the next day. Mm-hmm. And sellers and buyers are both provided a Alta settlement statement, a HUD, a closing disclosure, whatever you want to call it. It's got several names lately. Um, we're going to, after the break, get into the breakdown of that and who pays for what and how that end of the transaction goes. So we'll narrow things down into that um, closing fee schedule. Also, after the break, we're going to talk about our home picks of the week. And, of course, if you have any real estate questions, you can give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689 or send me an email, askkelly at kellysoldit.com. We'll be right back. If you need to sell your home without all the headaches most people experience, hey, Sean Hannity here to tell you that after years of buying, selling, investing millions of dollars in real estate, that all real estate agents do not operate the same way. Now, what makes the difference between a home selling fast and for top dollar and one that sits on the market for months and doesn't even sell at all? Well, you have a great American right in your backyard that I trust if I needed to sell my home. I'm talking about Kelly Warren with Kelly Warren and Associates Real Estate Solutions. She services the entire Mahoning Valley, attracts hundreds of buyers every week and sells an average three homes every week. Kelly spends thousands of dollars every month and creates demand for your home, which makes it sell faster and for more money. Don't play games with your home. Call Kelly at 330-717-2689. That's 330-717-2689 or online at kellysoldit.com. That's kellysoldit.com. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates, where we're talking about real estate right here in the Mahoning Valley. Uh, this morning, we were talking to you about the closing and the escrow period. Um, so I'm in the studio with Jim, handsome Jim, and we're going to go through um, the breakdown of closing disclosures. I, I feel like Frankie was on for so long that we ran out of time. I love that. We should just do a whole <laughs> testimonial. Anybody else want to call it? We don't even have to show up anymore. We'll it really gave me a big call. head. It was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the whole time, great, here we go. I'm going to have to hear about how great Kelly is for the next <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> I can't with you. All Everybody. right, so let's go from the seller side first because they're signing first. Okay. So day or two before the real closing, sometimes a week or two before, depending on the title company and what their preference is. Title search is done. Sellers have provided loan information for payoff. Um, Title company says, hey, we're ready for you. Come on in and sign. So what all is the seller signing? Do you know, Jim? Uh, They have to sign their deed. They have to sign their... That's all I really know is the deed. So they have to sign the deed. That's a big important one. (laughs) Like That's the one I'm like, if they don't sign it, I I can't sell the house. (laughs) Right. Um, They're going to... Who is signing the deed, Jim? Uh, the owner of the property. Right. The seller. Right. The seller. Seller and spouse or seller well, right. and people involved in a trust, in a trust or yeah. who, whoever is on title. And then also if it's a, 
if it's one name on title, if one person is the seller, if you're selling a house, Jim, and you're signing your name as Jim as the seller. If I'm married, my wife has yes, to Yes, that's where I'm going with this. Dang In the it. state of Ohio, we have dower <laughs> rights. So your spouse, whether this person was your spouse when you bought the property or not, is also signing off on their dower rights. What if they're not your spouse now? Um, if they didn't sign off dower rights and divorce, a lot of times the divorce papers have them sign off on those rights. Oh, okay. So that might have been terminated at divorce. But if, if it wasn't, Or if they then, passed on, then... Yeah, or the death certificate would show, would correct. honor that. Okay. Okay. So um, signing the deed, um, there's also going to be a paper about where you want your money to go. So do you want a direct in deposit? Do you want a check in the mail? Do you want to pick it up? Can I get gold bars? <laughs> Jim's like, give it to me in ones and fives. <laughs> I get it all in Bitcoin. No, please don't. <laughs> Been down that road with you. All right. Um, you're also probably going to be signing a lot of um, maybe some um, affiliated business disclosures, maybe some privacy policies, yep. maybe a paper saying um, that if there's any errors or omissions that they have your permission to go in and correct or change minor clerical Things. Yeah, like if my name's spelled incorrectly or something like that. Right. Or that wrong well, you address. might be signing a name affidavit. Um, you might have to sign your name as um, if you've ever used your middle initial, if you've ever used a junior or a senior at the end of your name, maiden names, any yeah. aliases, Jim, James, Jimmy, you might have to sign all of those. Yeah. So. Um, those are fun different documents that they hand you at any point during the transaction. <laughs> like, what's all these shenanigans? Right. Um, if your transaction didn't close on time and there's an unsigned extension, sometimes they throw that in and have you sign that at closing, which, you know, it needs to be signed just so the well, bank I knows, mean, okay, we're still under contract. But Right. And, and to get, like, even people don't realize, like, to narrow it down and everybody be right at the exact Right. Same point in time. That's hard. I mean, a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. yeah. So people yeah. don't realize that. Um, so. You may be signing off on appraisals and location surveys and things like that. So it's going to be a small stack of documents for the seller to sign. And along that, the thing that people most want to see is that breakdown of those numbers. You know, I sold my house for 150. I'm getting a check for sixty thousand. How would we get here? Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, I just lost. Well, you, ninety grand. You might have had an eighty thousand dollar mortgage in there, right? So you know. Um, <laughs> so that statement they're going to have you sign. Most of the time, when they have you sign it, you're probably only seeing your seller side column. There's always a buyer side column and a right. seller side column, but for privacy reasons, they might not be showing you the buyer side column. So right now, we're talking about the seller side for a couple minutes. Well, that, that was big after the 2008 thing. Right. That's when they separated those and made them more private. So a couple things that are going to be important on here, you're going to have a file number or an escrow number. You're going to have the information for the title company. You're going to have the property address and the dates of the settlement and the closing and the date of the disbursement. And you're going to have buyer and seller's names. Um, then it's going to start with the purchase price and then take off credits and debits from there. Mm -hmm. So purchase price, you're going to have some county taxes. So one thing about all of our local counties is they all have different taxes taxes are in arrears oh, so my sellers always say to me my taxes are caught up and they are as far as you know the bill <laughs> that came in does. march you paid it but that bill that came in march was for first half of 2018 yep. so you know you still owe second half of 2018 and the beginning of 2019 because so right now people selling properties today owe about a year of taxes yeah because and you, that tax bill comes due in a month or two right you feel like you're caught up on your taxes because nobody's knocking on your door saying you owe me money but the entire county is six months in arrears right you may have an escrow account set up in your mortgage that covers those taxes but um you know just depending on how your mortgage company is and how they credit you that or if they mail you a check back or if they take that off of your principal loan balance, right. each mortgage company is a little the, bit different. The title company collects it up front because... Right, so um, you're going to see taxes on that the, statement. The government will not let it not be paid. Right. If it's overpaid, it either gets credited or sent back to you. Mm -hmm. So... Um, some other expenses that you're going to see as the seller, you're responsible for the title owner's policy. Um, that's generally split in half. Seller and buyer both pay half of that. Okay. You're responsible for the attorney fee to drop the deed. You are responsible for um, the rest of the title work, the insurance binder, the title search, the deed preparation. So a couple small fees in there. Um, sometimes you're going to see things like a FedEx fee, a wire fee. Courier um, fee. Yeah, those things, um, depending on your mortgage company, depending on your title company, depending on how things were set up, don't be surprised to see anywhere between 10 and and $100 so, a few times for that stuff. So I guess a 
good question for something like that someone would ask is why is that fee there like today's technology we can just email everything over well some of the things like the deed require a wet signature so that needs to be mailed and you know if you're getting a ninety thousand dollar proceeds check that can't be mailed (laughs) emailed over you can get the check in the mail but do you want to risk losing it or do you want to pay that wire fee and same thing with your mortgage company your mortgage company may require that their funds get wired to them and they may charge you that wire fee Mm -hmm. That makes so sense. Um, another thing that you're going to see, of course, is the commission, the brokerage fee. And that's generally something that you agreed to at the listing. Um, I'm going to pay X amount of percent, you know, five, six, seven percent. Those are kind of normal numbers in our area. Um, and generally that gets split in some fashion, usually 50 50 between buyer and seller. And so you'll see those numbers, the total amount that you paid to the listing company and to the buyer company. Um, there's going to be transfer tax to the county, just like when you buy a car or a boat, you're going to transfer some money over. Mm -hmm. Um, And then loan payoff, any liens or things like that. Um, So that's about everything on the seller side of the transaction. Well, so the one thing you didn't include in your conversation there is a lot of times you'll see a credit to the seller's to help cover, or the buyer's. Right, because I didn't do the buyer's side yet. That was the seller's side. To help cover yeah, but the seller's paying it to cover the buyer's. Side oh, the escrow. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, so if if in your contract it said, "Hey, I'm going to buy your house for 150 thousand, and I want you to pay three percent towards my prepaids and closing costs," so that forty five hundred dollars. That's my quick math. I'm not sure if that's the right number. <laughs> Um, no, that, uh, for 150 okay. that's spot on. All right. Good job. <laughs> so, so that money would show as a debit from the seller and a credit to the buyer. So. You, you make math fun. Right? <laughs> every day, every day right here, math with Kelly. Um, all right, so buyer side. Buyer goes in to close. When buyer is closing, the loan has got their clear to close. They're ready to sign and fund, um, and the loan is going to be done, and they're going to sign, and then as soon as the buyer signs, it's going to go to the title. So the courthouse to get recorded, and then you have a closed transaction, and then you start talking about your possession dates. So um, some things that the buyers can expect to see, same information at the top, title company address, buyer and seller's name, date. Um, And then on the buyer's column, they're going to see the purchase price. Um, They're going to see if they put down a deposit, any earnest money or something like that. Yeah, down payment. Mm -hmm. Um, They're going to see their loan amount, so how much they're – getting a loan for, not their closing costs and not their down payment, but how much their mortgage loan will be for. Mm -hmm. Um, They're going to see um, a credit from those taxes. So those property taxes that we talked about on the seller side being a debit, now the county still doesn't want them. The county's six months in arrears. Yeah, the county doesn't take them. So what you're doing is you're actually crediting that from the seller to the buyer saying, here buyer, here's this money. You're going to get a bill in the mail in August that says pay the taxes for 2018. And you're going to say, I didn't live here then, but I'm giving you this money now. You pay it. (laughs) That's how this works. (laughs) It is. Um, You might see a bunch of little things, transaction fees, overnight fees, prepaid interest, tax service, credit reports, flood certificates, mortgage location surveys, um, homeowner's insurance. You have to prepay a year of homeowner's insurance generally, sometimes three months up to a year. Um, yeah, it depends. Every every insurance company is different. And every mortgage company is different on what they require. On what they require, Mm -hmm. correct. Um, You're going to see the, the title owner the owner's title insurance policy, and that's half was paid by the seller and half is paid as you as the buyer. Um, and then you you might see some small fees, title protection or closing or escrow fees or survey fees, overnight fees, wire fees, that kind of stuff. So don't it's be surprised. A, a lot of that's a very lot of similar that. to yeah. what you said earlier. So right. so these are, these are things that have to happen for the title to clearly transfer from one person to another. They have to make sure that that title is completely clear. Mm -hmm. They don't want someone coming back in the past saying, hey, I have a lien on this property that now it's on the property, not the seller. Right. So now the new buyer is responsible for that lien because it's on that property. Right. So that's the ins and the outs. And this paper ends with the um, bottom statement saying money to and from buyer and seller. And and it's going to show the credits of who gets what and who's paying what. Um, We're running out of time, so we're not going to take any questions today. We had that nice long testimonial at the beginning. I did want to give one very quick 
um, coming soon listing that we have on Lake Milton, uh, 577 Driftwood Drive, coming soon. So we'll call this our home pick of the week. $1 million. It um, is beautiful. Yeah. Three to five bedrooms, depending on how you lay things out. Over a 1,000 square foot of outdoor patio and decking. Views of the lake from the master bedroom, the upstairs sitting area, the the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the deck. Like You've got a view everywhere you turn. It's on a cove, so you only have a neighbor on one side. It has three docks, including a jet ski ramp. Um, I can't say enough about it. You've got to go online and check it out. It when's is coming that, soon. When's that go active? Um, the beginning of the month. Uh, no, the, the end of this month. Yeah, I'll have to check the date. Oh, but awesome. $1 million, 577 Driftwood, coming soon. If you're interested in the lake, you know, there it is. That's and beautiful. you can find it online at kellysoldit.com, along with all of our other properties at kellysoldit.com. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions real estate related, you can always give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689. We appreciate you listening. We'll be back next week. If you're thinking about selling your home, call the only agent to trust, Kelly Warren. Kelly guarantees to sell your home or she'll buy it. Call 330-717-2689 or go to kellysoldit.com. Join Kelly for Real Estate Radio every Sunday at 8 on 570 WKBN.